Right, a little bit more video in going along the the lower track on the north side of the area of Outstanding Beauty. There's some great views. I'm taking on board some water. I've uh, had a packet of cheese lips, something light, and uh, we'll be going up in a minute when we see the track. We'll head up towards the trick point. That's the plan. Some people coming. Bristol Airport's over there. That's Bristol Airport, there we go. again everyone so that some people pass you're enjoying the walk some of these people park up at Burlington you see and then just do a walk round up here and then get back in their cars they don't have to worry about buses we've got to go a bit further along here and then we'll look for a track that takes us up I know there's one nearer the end, but there might be one a bit earlier. Um, we'll see. Like you say, you come here in the winter, or when it's um, spring or something, when all the ferns are not here, you can literally just walk straight across, straight up. Yeah, you can. In a minute, when we leave this area of shade, which we've got at the moment. Yeah, I think I can see somebody sat on a stone now. Once we leave this area and go up, we'll be fully exposed. Although there are the odd tree the odd trees darted about. So I've got my hat on now. I'm feeling all right. I'm keeping topped up with water. I've still got two bottles of water and a juice. I'm going to have my fruit juice when I get to the trig point. That will be the reward. The glucose fruit drink and a piece of cheese and a bite of a tomato then really we've got we probably have to hack down quick to get back to Winsk I think I needed I should go on an earlier bus really um, I don't look at the time at the moment because it'll frighten me so uh, basically what I'm doing is um, just trying to enjoy this part of the walk as much as I can. I say I'm not a fast walker. I do have, as I do suffer with asthma, and I do have some breathing difficulties. Um, probably through to smoking in the past, or being exposed to other people's smoke. Um, your alveoli get damaged. Once we get round this corner just up here, we'll be able to see more clearly. Because we're coming to the end of Barrington Coombe now, and there will be paths going up. I don't want the very end one, because that will only take me to... <sighs> as if I was going to Longwood, or as if I was going to the aerials. So I don't want that one.
Yeah, there could be a path going up there in a minute. We'll see. Videoing for posterity, folks. Even though it's been done before. We've just had the Women's World Cup finish. England just lost by 1-0. The Gar goalkeeper saved a brilliant penalty. And our girls done really, really well. And they've made massive achievements. That's what they've got to think of. You know, they really have. Right, I can see arable farmland coming up. We know we're near the end, ready to turn up. Which is going to be straight into the sun, by the way. And we'll start feeling the heat. That's why... Even in a colder environment, I still always usually bring two bottles or something with me. Normally always do. Right, well I'm just going to get up here a bit now. Because we want to pick up a track that's going to take us up. Let's hope, hopefully we can find it. Could be one going there. I've got a feeling it's one a bit further down, it's just a little bit further down. So we're out in the open now, folks. This is where you could do with a nice cool breeze and a bit of cloud. Bristol Airport over there, I can just about see EasyJet coming into land with the naked eye. I wonder what the Iron Age people would have made of that. Flying creatures. Yeah, we'll be going up in a minute, but I don't want to go that way. I want to go to the one that's going like that. So. But we're going right into the sun. That's the worst part of it. The sun will be right ahead of us. But I've got my hat on. Well, I'm going to turn off for a bit now. Right, folks, a little bit here. <laughs> it won't be brilliant because <coughs> it's very windy. I've just climbed up the side of the Air of Outstanding Beauty on the north side. If we look over there, we can see the aerials. Which we passed the other week when I did Velvet Bottom and I stayed at Cheddar. Now the path to that is over there. Blagdon Lake down there. And um, the other lake, Chew Magna Lake, right over there. <coughs> I don't know what buses go to Blagdon if, at all because that would be a way to get a bus, wouldn't it? If there was one. Anyway, we're up here, I can see a lone tree, but the path is now no longer pebbly and bumpy and whatever. We've now heading for that tree and then we should be able to see the trig point. I don't want to have to pass it, by the way. This is one the backbone of the Blackdown Hills. And... Uh, I think it's Blackton or is it Blackerton? I can't remember. Uh, we'll know when we get to the trick point. So this is a nice pleasant walk now. Walking up to that solo tree. Just up there. And that wind is really welcoming. That lovely cool breeze. Which most of the year you, you don't want. Because it's freezing usually. This is extremely welcoming. My breathing's easing up now. Yeah. Just take your time, Sheila. I'm not going to look at the clock until I get to the trick point. I've already said that. No, I'm not... I'm not um, The gorse and the heather is all out looking beautiful.
I'm just doing a bit of videoing. I don't know what, how fierce the wind will sound against the camera. I haven't done this particular route for a long, long, long time, by the way. Many years since I've been up this particular track. Because there's loads of tracks, you see. Bristol Airport over there. And of course, this is a burial mound. This is holy ground, really, if you like. Um, the ancient mounds here. And it, it can be very, very boggy. I can just see the top of somebody's head coming this way. I'll well, turn off in a minute anyway. Right, approaching the trick point, folks. The adventurers have just, they've probably not long had a stop. Otherwise they would have stopped here. So they probably have got targets to reach. I can see River Warren in the distance, which I've got to get to. Um, we're just going to climb up here. Someone else will come. It's usually always occupied. Um, so these are the burial mounds. I mean, they are getting eroded. I don't know why they don't put a fence around them. Here we go, folks. A trick point. I've taken pictures of it loads of times. <laughs> from not always up close, sometimes from a distance. The Mendip oh, Mendip Hills, air of outstanding beauty. 50 years of caring together. Beacon Batch, highest point on the Mendip Hills. 1,066 feet. And this plaque, 1972 to 2022. 50 years together. And see that track went down there? That's where I'm going in a minute, where those people are walking. In, and I'm going straight into the wood. In the distance there, you can see Steep Home. That's Steep Home. That's Breen Down. And over a bit, you'll see, you might just see Flat Home and, of course, our fort, our hill fort. So here we are at the trig point. Over there will be Brent Knoll, the Quantock Hills in the distance. And we're going to have a nice walk. Now, this was never ever like this. When I first came here, these tracks were really hard to walk. They were deep. You went down into like a gully. They were eroded, but they started to do them with stones and that because of the bikers that come up here. Um, but it, they never used to be like this. They used to be, and they used to be dark red colour um, from the earth. But I think they've done what they've done, which I agree with, although it's not the same as it used to be. They were eroding, so what they've done to save erosion, they've actually put a proper base down for people to walk and cycle but otherwise they'd be like these tracks here just sort of bikers aren't allowed on all the tracks they're not supposed to go on all the tracks because of the erosion now here we are we've got the whole place to ourselves everyone Tumag Magna Lake there you can't see Blagdon Lake now and this is our beautiful Somerset everyone Wells Aerial, Wells Cathedral City over there. It's not easy to get to anymore. And various little routes and mounds and bound all things that have got of ancient significance. Everything here is of ancient significance. These are burial mounds. This is a holy site, a sacred site when we're up here. Right, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now take some pictures and then I'm going to look at the time. I'm going to have my fruit juice and a piece of cheese and tomato. Over and out. <laughs>